Embedded Linux without tools to assist you is an absolute pain. For that reason, I've never touched it. You know, it's really scary stuff. And the type of work I've been involved in has been more of a bare metal job. There's a lot of you who've clicked on this because you know it's scary too. Today, you join me for an interview with Raul. He's an engineer working at Foundries who develops a software tool called Foundries Factory, which is said to make your journey with Linux a hell of a lot simpler. They started as a startup in the embedded Linux and OTA area, who were recently acquired by Qualcomm, who is notorious for only selecting the cream of the crop. We are going to get to the bottom of this fuss together. So join me in firstly finding out who they are, what embedded engineers like about them, how they fit in with other Qualcomm companies, and how you can start today. Okay, let's go. Real, thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. Thank you, thank you for having me as well. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm glad to have you here. Okay, I just want to start right from bare bones, basic. Have no one ever heard of you before? This is how we start. What is Foundry's Factory? Whoa, hold there. Only 12% of you are subscribed. Do yourself a favor and subscribe for daily engineering content. All right. Well, Foundry's Factory is a DevOps platform for embedded Linux and IoT. It is it is a platform to help people for going to production to uh, through prototype to production faster, and basically it's a customizable Linux platform plus a CI CD pipelines, OTA updates, and device management all in one platform. Right, so lots of features that you know Linux developers just will go crazy for. I guess before you were a solution before foundry's factory was a solution for our embedded linux developers what do you feel is the biggest problem that they face well traditionally uh, embedded linux development was fragmented uh, and a lot of and a lot of time consuming as well developers had to manually maintain their bsp their security patches and all the update infrastructure to update their devices and scaling these across many products in many areas in the world, it's it's a lot. So basically, uh, that's the problem we solve, and and that's the real problem out there. Fantastic. So really, it's it's a way to combine multiple elements that previously embedded Linux developers would have to all do themselves. A bit from here, a bit from there, a bit from there. It's all in Foundry's factories. That's sort of what we're getting at. Yes. Amazing. So okay. Let's let's talk about what you feel is the most helpful feature. So we got a lot of different things: CI/CD, you know, traceability. What what is the most helpful feature of Foundry's Factory? Well, most of the engineer loves the seamless CI/CD integration. They can push code and then automatically trigger builds and deploy to their devices. And bringing like this modern dev software development workflow to the embedded industry is the coolest feature we we offer. Of course, we also offer like a lot of things related to security over so Yocto, but I mean, seeing this seamless CI CD integration all over the start pushing code to having OTA updates is something very cool. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we talked about what feature is most helpful. I think there's a difference between these, what's most helpful and what people love the most. Is, is there a feature you think that people love the most about the platform? Well, yeah, and also like, if you see our customers and what they they say about us as well, they say that just works. If you start works with founders, you see that just works. They they are impressed on how quickly we can get them from a production grade system to uh, and remove all the manual efforts to prepare the Yocto, to set up a CI CD, to update, to set up the to, set, to create the whole update infrastructure, and then. They just say it works really well. I don't need to manually do everything that I'm. I just mentioned. And if you see, like, a, in our website, we have a case study. One customer said, "Oh, we don't need to. We no longer have to babysit Yocto." And for those who are familiar with Yocto, Yocto brings a lot of a lot of manual work to create your yeah. distribution. We basically handle all of that. <laughs> awesome. So some recent news is that you've been acquired by Qualcomm. I mean, that is just a giant. So first off, congratulations. That's huge. They've clearly seen something great in what you do. So I guess my question is, how do you integrate with all the other great Qualcomm companies at Qualcomm? So ones like Edge Impulse that we've covered here on IP Exchange before. You know, how, how do you integrate in with them? Yeah, we, we complete the Qualcomm ecosystem by enabling secure production-ready software. For, for example, 
uh, you can train models using Edge and Push, another recently co uh, another company that was re recently acquired by Falcon. And then you can use Foundress to deploy these models uh, over there to the Qualcomm devices, to the Qualcomm hard hardware. So all these OTA updates and secure lifecycle management can be managed by Foundress. And then all this cool part about AI can be handled by Edge and Push. That shows like a commitment on Qualcomm to improve their ecosystem around uh, IoT, which is really cool. So you've got all of these Qualcomm chips, which now are compatible with Foundries and Edge Impulse. Is that they all sort of are able to work together now under that Qualcomm banner? Well, yeah. And when you say Qualcomm, not all of the Qualcomm chips, because Qualcomm also does chips for cell phones, for automotive yeah. and a lot of yeah. large industry. But the, for those chips, it's more convenient for IoT and AI on the edge. Foundries and Edge Impulse is working on to support and make it a cool ecosystem for the IoT companies to use the all of the all of the, the hardware and software we provide. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. So we're sort of coming to the end of it, and now I want to know how can the viewers, the people watching this, and myself get started with your platform. You know, how do they get up and running with their very first device? It's easy. You. Just go to founders.io, you can create an account, you can create your own Foundries factory there, and then you can use our docs.founders.io to follow our quick start guide, and that will guide you over the first steps. And the most important thing to say is we don't support just Qualcomm platforms. We we are a subsidiary company from Qualcomm and we, we are remaining and we will keep support for all the Raspberry Pi and XP and TI devices that is on our drop down list. So if you have any devices that you want to try from respect and see how the CI CD workflow together with OTA and all the security uh, features we provide, you can just go for founders.io and try on any, any platform that you, you like. Great. So it's very easy to get started. Um, now, you know, I know maybe I am, or maybe I'm not allowed to ask this. Is there anything sort of coming up in the future that nobody knows about something you can tell us here at IP exchange? Well, I think one of the things I can mention is we are expanding our board supporting, making hardware integration even easier. And we want to bring more hardware and of course, and more like Qualcomm hardware to our platform and also not just developer kits from Qualcomm, but also different boards that use Qualcomm ships from other vendors to our platform. So we are working on it. I cannot tell like names, but I, I, I'm pretty sure we, people will, will see like more platforms being uh, easy to integrate in our platform factory uh, soon. And also there is a lot of things, especially around AI and security around Qualcomm devices that this integration I think will be to be more feasible in the future. Amazing. Raul, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you. Leave a comment if you made it to the end and tell me what you thought of the chat. Especially let me know if you've used Foundries before and what your experience was like. We've got a full website article where you can find out more about Foundries and that'll be in the description for your convenience. Remember to like the video if you liked it and as always, stay disruptive.